All right, guys, quick video here, quick haul on the five recent acquisitions. First one is a movie I really love. Uh, it's, I think, one of his better roles. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't know. It's not one of my favorite movies of all time or anything, but I just really like the movie. I think I was hit by the uniqueness of it, or by the really difference that uh, this is compared to most of his other roles, because it's not a comedy at all, or even close, um, just like the smiles on the front cover. And that is uh, Adam Sandler in Rain Over Me. <clears throat> it tells the story of a man who's kind of closed himself off from most of the world after his wife, and, well, his whole family, his wife and, and children, are killed uh, in the World Trade Center. I'm sorry. They were on one of the planes, I believe, that flew into the World Trade Center. Uh, yeah, and I think he worked in the World Trade Center, but wasn't there that day or something. I don't know. I, it's been a while since I saw it, but the, the bottom line is they're dead. It's in the aftermath of 9-11. And... Uh, He's just closed off from everyone, and he's just, uh, yeah, he's just not himself, let's put it that way. And Don Cheadle plays a dentist who uh, runs across him and wants to help him. This is a simple, you know, outline of the basic plot, but it's really good, and Adam Sandler is really good at it, so is Don Cheadle. So, highly recommend that one. I picked it up used for like three, but three dollars off, uh, someplace or other. Uh, probably FYE, no me. Uh, next up are some pickups from uh, Best Buy. The first one, I, uh, Amazon matched. They matched the Amazon price. I've been wanting to get this one, but it just was too much money. Finally, is a reasonable price. It was ten dollars. Uh, still on sale at Amazon, by the way. Uh, Blu-ray, DVD, digital HD, love it when that happens. I can probably sell the DVD without the case or anything for five bucks on, on eBay. So it'll cost me five dollars for this movie. Fault is in our stars with the slip and the digital HD. Story of a girl who's got cancer, I believe, some form of cancer, and a boy who falls in love with her. And uh, what happens? It's supposed to be a great romantic story. And it's supposed to make you cry. Based on a book. So it should be, should be interesting to watch that one. <clears throat> My wife will probably watch that one with me. Next one, Total Blind Buy. Knew nothing about this. The next, the next two are blind buys, although I know a little bit about the last one. Like the cover, like the director on this one. Uh, like the slip cover quite a bit. Let's see if the regular movies just looks like exactly the same. Let me see this. Uh, Slipcover is really neat, though, and uh, the movie does not get good reviews at all, The Zero Theorem. Uh, it's a story about this guy who's a recluse, lives in a church, is in the future, kind of a post-apocalyptic or just like futuristic, uh, not necessarily post-apocalyptic, but futuristic, where well, I read the back. <coughs> and uh, he has been hired by Matt Damon's character to find the meaning of life, basically, so that, that intrigued me. They say it's a rehash of a lot of his other themes, like in Brazil and stuff, but I don't care. I like I like uh, Brazil. I like Terry Gilliam, so I think I'm going to like the Zero Theorem. We shall see. I love the cover, by the way. Next. I bought this for two reasons. One, it was $9.99. <laughs> uh, which is never a bad reason. The price is always a good reason to buy something, I guess. And secondly... Uh, it says it is light years away from 99% of modern commercial horror cinema. I don't really like 99% of modern commercial horror cinema. So I might like this. <laughs> I love the cover. Uh, I saw a couple of scenes and they looked interesting. So it looked like a, Kub uh, like a Kubrick, like a Stanley Kubrick approach to uh, directing. Uh, have no, but it's got the Blu-ray, the DVD, the ultraviolet copy. And that is uh, Lords, Lord of uh, the Lords of Salem. Sorry, screw that. The Lords of Salem. Got a nice lenticular cover. 
basically this film, Rob Rob Zombie, uh, details what happens when a, a DJ receives a album or CD, puts it on, and when it plays, she and other women can hear and, and starts to imagine uh, a bunch of things from the days of the witches of Salem. So, uh, should be an interesting movie. I think I'll enjoy it for nine ninety nine. Anyway, it's got some terrible reviews. I'll tell you that. But like I said, I don't like modern horror, so maybe I'll like this. I'm not a big fan of you know the slasher genres and things like that. But um, maybe I'll like this. Who knows? For ninety nine, it was worth a try. And lastly. I picked this up off of uh, eBay. Uh, but wanted to see it for a while. I watched it the other night. It was really good. I picked this came yesterday. I think I watched it last night. I'm sorry, I watched it two nights ago. It came Saturday because last night was a Super Bowl. Uh, Malefic Maleficent. Angelina Jolie. It was a really good story, I thought. Well done. I'm happy to pick this one up with the slip. All right, guys, that's it. Pretty quick uh, version, but Maleficent, the Lords of Salem, the Zero Theorem, the Fault is in our star, the Fault in our Stars, and Reign Over Me with Adam Sandler. That's it for now, guys. Take care.